Pastoral planning is what Siouxlanders were protesting against today. The Diocese of Sioux City is merging churches and pastors as part of that process. I'm told there isn't one church in the diocese that won't be affected. The Bishop of the Diocese of Sioux City says its merging parishes is in response to a shrinking congregation and a shortage of priests. The reality is in the next 10 years that 50% of our priests uh, that are currently in active ministry are, are eligible for retirement. Deacon Mark Prosser says a drastic reduction in the number of practicing Catholics with less baptisms and marriages also forced the diocese to make a change. But some Siouxlanders say they feel abandoned. We are rural communities and we have a bishop that doesn't understand rural agricultural communities. If you cut off the roots, the rest of the plant will not flourish. We feel that the closing of churches should be the last resort. It certainly is a concern, you know, certainly for the older population. I mean, you know, as people, the, the older ones, especially in inclement weather, you know, would be forced to travel to neighboring towns. And in some situations, that may be a matter of seven or eight miles. In other places, it may certainly be a matter of 20 or 30, 30 miles. It's breaking up these farm communities that have been around for over 100 years and basically pushing everybody into town. The concern that we've got is we've got a central Catholic school system that depends upon contributions from all the different parishes. Prosser says the downward trend has been happening in Sioux City for nearly three decades. The bishop and our vicar generals are exceptionally sensitive to the pain and the anguish and the unknown of change. But the diocese and the church as a whole has to change. Deacon Prosser says no churches will technically close, but their status and how they're used may be modified. Lydia Vasquez, KCAU 9 News.